Hey folks, Father Sampatik from CG Virus here. Uh, some folks asked about a uh, straightforward tutorial about uh, the Blender Compositor Disk Cache uh, add-on. So we have already updated it a little bit. So let's see if we if we can clarify it a little bit more. All right. So what uh, what does it do is basically you know uh, create a Compositor Disk Cache and uh, preview it uh, in real time in Blender Compositor. So what I need to do is basically you can download it from here download the zip file and uh, then uh, extract the zip file here you will see there are two uh, things uh, one is Python file and uh, another one is a template so both are needed so uh, you can uh, install it from here blender press F4 preference go to the install uh, wherever your file is here and go to the compositor and uh, just enable it okay save the preference done so second thing is uh, we need to create a layout for that so I'm just going to duplicate the video editing layout here and I'm just going for compositing custom there we go and uh, I'm going to change it to image editor it should be a viewer note <coughs> uh, this one is sequencer preview and this one is sequencer sequencer so I'm just going to duplicate this guy here and uh, we're going for a compositor okay done so now let's go to the layout and uh, file defaults save startup file okay done so the front from, from now on uh, we will get this layout by default okay compositing custom okay so first thing first done now let's get started with the project now we are going to do a very basic green screen project so let's save it Ctrl shift s and I'm going for desktop now uh, let's name it green and uh, green there we go so uh, first thing is uh, what we need to do is basically we need to append press F4 and go to the append and uh, what we need to append is basically this guy you can see it here this one okay we're going to append uh, so what you can do is basically you can create a bookmark because we will need it most more often so we can create a bookmark here so from now on we can just direct access it so I'm just going to here and uh, go to the scene and uh, import this comp1 okay there we go so now we have appended comp1 which is actually uh, doing lots of stuff um, we talked about earlier so people got confused so here it is okay so now you don't need to do lots of stuff anymore okay so now we're going for a uh, very basic um, image sequence so let's go for image and I'm going for open and I'm going to Tom here so <coughs> gonna shift to see the viewer here we go so these are our uh, plugin buttons all right so we can see it here so if you want to see it in here as well we can connect them here as well okay and here it is so <coughs> Uh, check your resolution um, uh, this one is a weird resolution so I'm just going for 1080 uh, it, it is 1012 or something like that so I'm just going for 1080 if it's a 4k project go for 4k project and uh, just check your resolution and uh, you can see that it is 50% scaling okay so it's a 50% scaling so now uh, just go as usual uh, uh, we're going for a mask let's create a mask let's go to the main viewer and we're just going to uh, make a sim very simple mask here so press control uh, left click um, here 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 press alt c to create uh, the basic mask it's it will be a garbage mask so we can name it garbage there we go so something like that I think we don't need uh, 
loads of stuff here so yeah similar like that okay so to see it what we can do is basically we can go for a skill and uh, we need um, shift A and uh, let's go to the mask there we go mask and uh, this should be a garbage mask so now there is a thing uh, this is a sin size okay so um, we are going to use a uh, scaling here okay so for that what you need to do is basically go to the fixed and uh, go for your resolution 1920 and 1080 1920 1080 I will show you the effect later so go here and uh, basically we need a uh, here very simple here King here we go connect it and let's uh, connect the garbage mask as well so it should be here garbage mask there we go uh, I think we need to make it where it is yeah we need to reverse it there we go so this is our garbage mask okay so now let's go for color there we go and uh, I think we need to dim down a little bit there we go okay so you can see your stuff okay so this one is 490 frame so we can go for 490 frame here and uh, we can also cut it so shift to cut it there you go press K to cut it and I'm going for I'm going to delete uh, the external files so there you go okay so this is it hmm. all right let's check it um, yeah this are all right that will be done okay so if we want to see it uh, in a preview file what you need to do is basically uh, you know in a, if you need to um, just press space to see it you can see that it is FPS 6 6 blah, blah blah and stuff like that but I want to see it in 24 FPS okay so how can we do it is basically there are four buttons this one is called render cache it will cache your preview this will play your preview this will delete your preview I mean clear your preview and this will delete your cache okay so let's see the stuff here so this is our project okay and let's go for always on top okay so uh, if you want to see your project here what you need to do is basically press P and define a preview region here okay somewhere here now, um, before in our previous, uh, um, uh, you know, add-on, uh, we had to, you know, define some output stuff. But uh, we, I, we, I have updated it, so you don't have to do it. Uh, it will be automatically created. And uh, this is an uh, alpha transparency image, so we're going to use some PNG here and RGBA. So now, if I cache it here, render cache, it will render the cache. Okay so let's see okay cache is done so we can play it here you can see this is FPS 24 and we're seeing our stuff okay there we go so press escape to escape it we can see the real time and uh, now uh, where does this cache going is basically um, in your project directory wherever you have saved it it will create this cache for you okay so and uh, the cache is here okay here so if you want to clear the cache you can do it here clear the cache you can play it again Press escape clear the cache so there is also one this is called delete the cache so what it will do it will delete the cache here we go Delete the cache from your hard disk so that's how it works <coughs> okay uh, so you can see that we are using 50% here 
you can use uh, if it's too much loading like uh, we have done some 4k we had to do for 20 percent so it will create the 20 percent cache for you okay so it is faster all right so something like that okay so uh, for 1080p 50 percent is all right so now I want to show you why we did this fixed if I go to the scene size you can see it is already cut because we are using 50 percent if we go and went to 100 percent it would work so that's why we need to use uh, fit uh, you know uh, fixed yeah okay that's it and uh, yeah so that's how you can work with it you know so uh, let's do uh, pretty basic uh, stuff so let's create a mix node and uh, I want to show you how to render it so let's top it up here and we can see it from the scale okay and uh, the alpha should be here there we go I want to make it much more visible so you can do your uh, all of your stuff you know the regular stuff you do with your node right so yeah so now uh, what I want to uh, uh, do is basically we want to render it okay so press alt P to uh, diffuse the uh, you know disable the preview region go to the hundred percent render and uh, now uh, I want to render it suppose I want to render it in PNG format you could do it I want to render it in FFmpeg uh, suppose uh, Matroshka and uh, stuff stuff like that so I can do it as well so plus control S save and uh, let's go to the output section and uh, let's name it um, test let's name it test test output okay test output it should be a mkv so now I want to render it so how can we render it basically view go to the sequence render animation okay so let's render it and let's see and here it is the test mkv and you can see your stuff here okay there you go okay done so uh, now we are going to talk about more advanced stuff uh, which is 3d uh, some people asked about it as well so let's see a 3d project and uh, yeah so here is our 3d project you can see a classic and there we go so it is done in EV there we go all right so I have already cached it so here it is so let's uh, see some layout here so let's press ctrl let's save and uh, let's do the layout it's in the scene okay so this is the scene okay <coughs> very basic stuff basic uh, very basic and uh, I just want to talk about this guy okay so uh, what we did is basically we did a uh, transparent alpha okay uh, with PNG file so uh, what I want to uh, talk about is basically um, uh, this guy okay the filter so when you were uh, uh, doing uh, in uh, stuff like you know this kind of stuff in 3D viewport, what you need to do, uh, what you should do is basically avoid uh, doing it in linear. Okay, linear is a filter operation. Uh, you should use closest, which is uh, actually very sharp and uh, actually very good, and uh, uh, or you can use smart as well. Okay, but I really prefer closest. Okay. So this is the foreground element. Uh, this is the background. We are using closest as well here. So uh, these are some 3D stuff, uh, basic stuff. Okay. Um, if you want to check out uh, how to do this alpha clipping, uh, very simple alpha clipping, transparent and stuff. So there are lots of tutorials out there. So just see it. Uh, we have also done uh, two or three tutorials about it. So. Uh, these are same okay here we go okay so uh, another thing is uh, basically 
we have done some view layer okay this is the BG BG layer you can see it's a BG layer we have uh, exclude all the uh, layers from it so let's see to exclude layers uh, there are lots of tutorials as well so just saw uh, see them here and uh, uh, roof alpha this is the roof alpha and uh, this is the thumb okay thumb and this is our view layer where we have done everything at once so uh, then we just uh, go to the uh, went to the compositing custom and uh, just like before appended the comp one then created some bg with uh, this is the bg and uh, this is the beauty that is the view layer okay so what we did here is basically this is actually a render layer okay render layer and in render layer what we did is basically we go for scene which is uh, the 3d layer we had and these are the layers okay so this is the bg uh, this is the tom uh, this is the roof alpha and uh, this is the view layer okay so we call it beauty layer okay so that's how we did it scene and uh, view layer and then we just did some alpha over did some crazy alpha <laughs> did some tom rgb curves uh, did some alpha over again then did some color balance and uh, scale and composite that's it so i want to show you how uh, our workflow was so i'm just going to clear it yeah clear the cache and uh, let's go for a preview region press p somewhere here yeah. so suppose we were doing some color correction suppose i don't want to ruin it but i don't know uh, suppose V was 0.927 okay so let's increase it or decrease it uh, uh, let's get some color correction here and there so suppose we need some blue or something like that so we can do it like that here I don't know basic uh, color stuff uh, however you want to so our target was you know something like um, you know 90s movie type of filter so <laughs> yeah uh, so basic uh, stuff okay so then what we did is basically we just uh, create the cache again okay and it will create the cache and then play the cache to see how it's going okay that's it simple okay so you can see how versatile it can become okay from a 3d perspective from ev oh by the way i just uh, simply forgot that uh, in ev we are using a render uh, of 10 okay uh, we are using screen space as well so why i want to tell you that that uh, basically um, by default uh, the ev render is set to 35 or something but um, for this kind of setup it is not actually necessary uh, so what you can do is basically you can go for five as well okay so you know it is much more faster faster to render faster to uh, you know uh, do things so <coughs> it's all uh, up to you uh, how much quality you need but what I have seen that um, 8 to 10 is actually enough for this kind of uh, you know projects like uh, you know BFS projects so yeah okay so this is one thing and uh, we are using um, a standard view transform um, we're not using this filmic because uh, we're uh, we are going with textures and things like that so we need some accuracy so standard is much more better option okay so if you want to see some view layer stuff um, uh, there are lots of tutorial out there uh, so just see it uh, also you can uh, yeah also if you need uh, these transparency how we made it is basically we used uh, transparent bsdf and uh, made it with factor okay and uh, we used um here in object mode we used alpha clip with a uh, clip threshold okay so um, um, uh, you know just uh, see some of our other tutorials we had earlier so you will uh, see the stuff why we are using alpha clip uh, rather than alpha blend is basically uh, there is no actual reason 
<laughs> in it but uh, what we have seen that alpha clip is doing for this particular uh, job we are seeing that uh, it is doing much more better job for clipping the mask so we're using it like that anyway so uh, that's it another thing that uh, I forgot that uh, how to render <laughs> so alt P uh, just like before um, just get the cache here there we go uh, go for hundred percent okay and uh, you know target some stuff like here check and uh, let's do a full render so we can do for FFM pick encoding Matoshka is all right so yeah here we go and uh, now what we can do is basically view and sequence render animation there we go and render it so this is it i'm father sambutik from cg virus and we're going to see you next time bye bye